Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. <laughs> and uh, so I'm coming to you today to talk about some medical preps, but n not necessarily, um, this was close to $20 prep, but not really. So I wanna talk to you a little bit about it, but it's things that I think are important and, uh, or, and handy to have around. So the first thing are elastic bandages. Um, or, you know, Ace Bandages, Ace is a, band, a brand of them. Uh, these are from North American Rescue. Um, mostly because I sell North American Rescue stuff. So it's pretty handy to just say, oh, I've, I've got an extra, you know, $10. I'll toss it in the cart. And uh, one of the things that I like about these is um, I buy them in packs of 10 two inch and three inch and there's others other sizes but these are the ones i got this time so what i like the most is this right here that is uh, you'll notice there are no clips that's a piece of velcro now i know there are a lot of a lot of opinions about metal clips versus velcro I'm most likely not going to cut these into smaller sizes. And so the metal clips come off or they get caught or they bend or they, the teeth break off or I step on them or I just lose them. Well, if in this case with the Velcro, I can't lose it. It's attached to the, attached to the bandage, you know, right there it is. And so I really like these. Uh, I, and I use a lot of them, uh, particularly and uh, when I get to be the, the first aid person at camps, at youth camps, we go through these quite a bit. Um, they give a little bit of support, you know, so when something's not terribly injured, gives them a little bit of support and a little, they feel more confident. In addition to when there's real wounds and real injuries, you can, you can splint and you can provide pressure dressings and things with these guys right here so talking about pressure dressings so this guy is uh, a responder mini or an emergency trauma dressing ETD a mini it's just four inches they pack them flat so they don't have the big tension bar that they used to have it's just a big pad, <clears throat> excuse me, and an elastic bandage. Uh, let's take a look at it. So I ripped it open, and this is not impossible to do one-handed. There is a hook and loop end to it, and so that's what goes to your wound right there. And it's a pretty, I mean, it's a pretty decent pad. And then this is all elastic bandage. And you just keep wrapping and keep wrapping. And then there is the lock bar on the end that you just catch it on the top and the bottom of the last wrap. And then it holds it together. Uh, I've done a video on ETDs before Izzy bandages or Israeli bandages. But this is the new one, or new to me. Four inches, packed pretty flat. Um, I really like that packaging um, just because it survives long inside my gear. Um, so this, this guy here was about $3, maybe $4. And then those guys were a dollar something a piece. I want to say a dollar fifteen and a dollar eighty-five. Those are just ballpark figures. But I say it a lot, and I mean it. That when someone has an injury, when they have a wound, it takes a lot of bandages to keep it clean and to keep it protected. And to control the bleeding. It's just it takes a lot of consumables. And so I try to have a lot of consumables on hand. 
I also use these. I scatter them about in first aid kits and my son's basketball team kit. You know, we've got a first aid bag for that and, and things like that. And I'm always on the lookout for more. Uh, I seldom buy just no deal just right off the shelf like I did this time. But uh, I felt it was necessary. I think ace bandages or elastic style bandages, whether they're in the rolls or in the emergency trauma dressing style, I think they're useful and certainly worth having around. Thanks for watching. Uh, Google them. There's lots of places to get ETDs, emergency trauma dressings, so you can find some good places. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Let's get ready.